Hola! Welcome to my channel. My name is Risa and this is Divine Portal. So today's video, I'm going to be pulling messages from my Aquarians. This could resonate if you have Aquarius in any of your placements. I am offering personal readings. I have a sale going on, 15 minute read for $15 and you can ask me one question. That will be down below in the comments if you are interested, all the information on how to book one with me. Um, and yeah, I hope all of you are doing well. I know it's been a minute since I've posted a reading, but I'm here now, so let's see what's going on with you, Aquarius. We're going to take a look at the general energy first, just to see what's going on around you, what you might need to be aware of, all that good stuff, okay? I already prayed over the energy, so let's see. Spirit, what do we have for Aquarius right now? What messages do they need to hear, the Aquarians? We have magnetic attraction. And on this side, we have clingy and needy. Okay, so someone feels a very strong attraction to you. Um, they find you to be very attractive. They are also holding on to your energy. They hold on to you. Maybe this, this is someone that um, it's like they want and need your attention. Someone's holding on to you. So let's see. Please only take the messages that resonate with you. If they don't, then that's okay. Leave them for someone else. What do we have for Aquarius spirit? What do we have for Aquarius right now? What is the energy? What is the energy like for Aquarius? Hold on, one of them flipped over. What do we have for Aquarius? Spirit, what do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? What do they need to hear right now, Spirit? Okay, on the bottom, it says lost without you. So someone could be feeling lost without you. Um, you could be uninterested in this person, or maybe they feel like you're no longer interested in them. And yeah, they find you to be so fucking fine. This person is, like I said, they're very attracted to you. Um, if you're masculine, they find you to be very handsome. If you're feminine, they think that you're just like so beautiful, so sexy. Yeah, and, and we also have energy vampires. So you could have like blocked this this energy. It's like it's like they know that you're no longer interested in them and they're feeling lost without you. This could be why they're like very clingy and needy. We have dying without you. So okay, if you decided to like stop talking to someone or you pulled your energy back, it's really affecting them. They're they're really like missing you. Um yeah, let me get all these together and then we'll go through them. Okay, yeah, look at that. Someone could be crying without you. Very emotional. If something happened and you had to like separate from some drama or just, I don't know, even if you just like quietly backed away without, you know, any drama, any back and forth, this person is going through it. Let me put them all out and then we'll go through the, the energy. We have divinely protected. Generational blessings. Passion for you. work of art smoking and drinking grateful do you still care clear communication doing it alone Old friends, 
and doubtful. Okay, Aquarius, I do see, like I said, someone here. Okay, I feel like you could have been protected from a certain situation, relationship, connection, friendship, whatever, it, however it resonates with you. But I felt like you were protected from this situation because I feel like there were things going on in the background that you probably weren't aware of. Or even if you kind of had a feeling about something, you didn't know the extent of what was going on. So you're being protected from this situation because I don't feel like this person is in a space where they can be truthful with you. Or they're like not in a space where they could communicate with you clearly or offer you what it is that you deserve. I just feel like there's some shady stuff going on in the background, okay? And if you kind of had a feeling like something was off, like even if you really like this person, I feel like, yeah, it's, it's just something was off. You had this strange feeling, um... Some of you could be crying. Maybe maybe you found out something or maybe you didn't want to have to separate from this person. But I feel like it's it's best for now to just preserve your energy. You know, it's okay to be alone for now. And for others of you, if this is this person that's really like going through it, they're missing you. They feel like you're just so beautiful, so handsome. You're like a work of art. You're... It's like they look at you like you're just so beautiful, so handsome, like literally a work of art. I mean, some of you could be artists or you could work with your hands or you could create things. Um, it's like now they want to communicate with you. Maybe you wanted communication from this person. Maybe you wanted them to open up or to tell you or, to, you know, I just feel like they weren't. They weren't bringing clarity to whatever situation you got going on with them. Um, some of you or maybe this person could be drinking very heavily, smoking as well. Um, I'm getting there's someone here that drinks a lot like they they drink too much, you know, and if this is you, Aquarius, that I'm talking to. And maybe you're going through something and you tend to turn to alcohol. Um, I feel like a spirit is saying that you really need to get that under control. Okay. Don't be mad at me. But if this is this person, I feel like they need to get that under control too. It's like, it's becoming out of control. It's taking over someone's life. They could have addictions. This person could have been like, uh, like influencing you in a negative way as well. If they if they're like very toxic, I'm not saying that they're a bad person, but if they have certain you know toxic ways that they need to heal or get under control, it could have been rubbing off on you. Um, I do see that you are a very blessed individual. You have blessings coming, you have blessings coming in for you blessings that are passed down from generations that you're meant to have you are you have very like angelic powerful ancestors around you that are protecting you from whatever it doesn't matter if it's a relationship or any situation that could be harmful to you they are like on it they're they they protect the fuck out of you okay um and they want to bless you I feel like this person is very passionate about you. They have very strong passion. The sexual energy could have been very intense, like addicting for both of you. Um, but especially for this person, because I don't think they've ever like experienced passion and, and intimacy the way that they have with you. And they... They want to know if you still care about them, if you still care about the situation, if you still have feelings for them. They want to know what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what's going through your head right now. Um, they, It's like they want to re reconnect and re reconcile, reconcile, reconcile. I don't know why I can't say that. They want to re reconcile, but they're doubtful that it will work. They're doubtful that you even care to like continue this Um for some of you, this doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. This could be like an old friend that wants to come back or 
that wants to get back in touch with you. Um, I do see you just being in a state right now where you're just grateful. Like even, even if things fall apart and it's painful and it's, you know, confusing, it's like, you know that it's for the best, you know, and you're grateful that you're grateful that you got to experience this connection and you're also grateful that, you know, it ended. Like, I don't feel like all connections are meant to stay in your life forever. Some people are meant to come in, teach us lessons, you know, love us, you know, and then they're meant to leave. <laughs> so, yeah, I feel like right now you're just grateful. Um, and this person is really going through it, okay? It's like they, they're like, it's like heavy energy on them right now, like weighing on them. Let's get some love messages. I don't want to go over the time because I only have like 30 minutes of space on my phone. <laughs> I need to clear some up. So let's see, Spirit. Give us some love messages from this person that... Aquarius is connected to the person that Aquarius is thinking about right now. What would this person like to say to Aquarius? What would this person like to say? What would they like to say? Ooh, we have their friend is in love with you. So if they talk to their friends about you or a specific friend, that friend, like, they look you up, they stalk you. They're like, damn, you know, they're kind of, like, jealous that their friend is, like, the one that has you, your attention, or that was able to fuck with you, and they are falling in love with you. Ooh, okay. Like, if they fuck things up with you, their friend is like, damn, like, their friend is like low key wanting to shoot their shot. <laughs> okay. What can you tell me about Aquarius's person right now? We have Aquarius. So you could be dealing with another Aquarius, or maybe they're thinking about you, your energy. Your silence kills me. If you cut off communication with this person, they. Or trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. We have handsome man, top tier. The masculine energy here could be very handsome. Please unblock me. If you block this person, they... Yeah. Let me just put them out and then we'll see. Sending mixed signals. They can suck on my toes. Okay. What can you tell me about Paris' person? We have surrender. We have spooky and sexy. What else for a crisis person? I'm not sexually attracted to them. Hmm. What can you tell me for Aquarius? What would they like to tell their Aquarius? Typing and deleting messages. I love making you laugh and smile. What else would this person like to say? Ooh, this one says he is not worth it. Okay. What else, spirit? I think about the first time we met. We have Aquarius and Aries. What else can you tell me, spirit, about this person? What would they like to say to Aquarius? Exploring options. I will fight for you. What can you tell me? We have many boyfriends. <laughs> what else can you tell me? Copy and paste ass bitches. Okay. We have self-conscious, low self-esteem. And making up lies about you. On the bottom, it says tired of the bullshit. I don't know how to express myself. The love we share is special. I don't want to play games anymore. I'm letting go. I'm hurting. 
You are helping me wake up to my power. My ex is holding on to me. I want to wake up to you. You're the only one for me. Single parent. I only want you. Strong passion. So, Aquarius, if this is someone that you are not talking to right now, they're wondering like what you're thinking, how are you feeling, how do you feel about them? It's like driving them crazy. Like if you're feminine and you're into men, I feel like this man is very handsome. This man could have options, you know. But it's something about you, like something about your attention, your your love, your affection. It's like they could have a whole bunch of people or whoever the fuck that wants their attention, that wants their love, but they're like focused on you. It's like something about you. You know how, okay, on Twilight, you know how Edward, he was able to read people's minds, but Bella was like the only one that he couldn't read and he was like so intrigued by her because he couldn't, he couldn't figure out what the fuck she was thinking right i haven't seen it in a while but yeah it's like whoever's around this person they might like throw their self at this person or you know very clingy with him but you you are okay with just like ending shit like you know if something feels off you're like okay that's it you know um yeah if you have this person blocked they really want you to unblock them um, it's like they don't like the way things ended if this is someone that you are not talking to, okay? Um, it's like it could have been really confusing. Maybe one minute they wanted you, the next they didn't. Um, it's, it was really hard to, to, to tell if this person was like into you, if they really wanted something with you. I felt like the sexual energy, of course, it was really intense and passionate. This person really likes your feet, your toes. Um, I'm hearing they could have like different kinks, right? Like into different things. Um, I, for, for those of you that know that there's someone else involved, maybe they have an ex or baby mama, baby daddy, you know, a wife, a husband, whoever the fuck they got connected to them it's like they're not attracted to this person anymore they could be with them because they have kids or because they're married or I don't know right it's like they're they're like in a situation for convenience or comfort but they're not really sexually attracted to this person some of them they're not even having sex with this person. And if they are, it's like they don't really want to. They want to have sex with you. They're really turned on by you. Something, it's like you really capture this person's mind. Like it's really, you know how with Aquarians, we tend to want like a, a strong mental connection with someone before we like have sex with them. It's like you do something to their mind. I don't know. It's like you know what they want. It's like you know what they want okay um this is someone that you've met already they think about the time the first time that you guys met or maybe the last time that you guys saw each other this could be someone that you've known like in your past or this could be someone that you just recently met and they think about how you guys met um they okay this person is thinking about everything they want to say to you. Some of them could be like typing and deleting messages. It's like they want to reach out, but then they're afraid of what, you, what you're what you going to say. Or they, I don't know, they're kind of afraid of you, honestly. It's like they find you to be so sexy. You turn them on, but they're also like afraid of you, Aquarius. Especially like if you're feminine and you don't tolerate any bullshit. Like they know, they know that you will cuss them out. It's like you're really sweet and like cuddly and and they also know that you are quick to, to just like say fuck it or fuck you, you know? <laughs> um, I feel like some of you have surrendered to this connection. Those of you that are into masculine energies, it's like you've just surrendered like, okay, this is confusing. I don't know what this person wants. You know, I'm not going to sit here and try to figure out... Ooh, 
or try to make this person change or I don't know, something like that. And you just realize that it's not worth it right now, you know? You know, if the connection is that difficult, if you have to constantly wonder where you stand with this person or how they feel about you, it's like, maybe that's just not the person for you right now, you know? And I do feel like for some of you, the reason why this person hasn't offered you anything is because they still have someone in their life. We have Aquarius and Aries. For some of you, like I said, you could be dealing with another Aquarius or an Aries. They feel like you are already exploring your options if you're feminine energy. They feel like you, you know, you don't got time to to be dealing with them because you're giving your attention to other people. There could be lies about you that you're like a hoe. If you're a masculine, there could, people could suspect that you are like bisexual or into the same sex. Especially if you hang out with like a bunch of men all the time, they could suspect that you could be bisexual. I noticed that I attract a lot of bisexual men. Which is interesting because I kind of, I'm like attracted to that, you know. I don't have a, an issue with that. And I just don't like when they try to like hide it, you know. When I can clearly tell that that's what you're into, right. But it's like, yeah. Or like I said, if you're feminine, they just feel like you have a lot of men all up your ass wanting to be with you. You could have multiple masculine energies that want to fight for you. Or this person is just saying like, they don't want to just let this connection go. They want to fight for it. They want to fight for you. We have copy and paste as bitches. I feel like if you're feminine energy, you have a lot of, even if you're masculine energy, it doesn't matter. You have a lot of people that try to be like you. It's like these people could talk about you, make up lies about you, laugh about you, but they want to be like you, you know, which is fucking weird. Like they want to be like you. They're inspired by you. You you could like trigger something within them that makes them feel self conscious. This could be your person. Maybe they don't maybe they don't feel like they're good enough for you. Maybe they're used to dealing with like I don't mean this in a bad way, but maybe they're used to dealing with like low vibrational women that are self conscious themselves and constantly needing validation from this person. And you don't, you're not like that. Even if you really like them, you're not like all up their ass, like begging them. And that, it like, it's intimidating that you are so quick to just like let go of things that, that don't feel right or that don't serve you. How much time do I have left? Let's do some, wait, can I do sexual messages? Let's get some confessions first. What would this person like to confess to their Aquarius? What would this person like to confess to their Aquarius? This one says, my friends and family don't want me to be with you, but I don't really care. So yeah, they're, it's crazy because they could have friends that are like, nah, don't fuck with him or don't fuck with her. But deep down, the friends want to fuck with you. His friends, her friends... They want to fuck with you. Um, and um, if they have a family, obviously, you know, they don't fuck with you. This one says, I only come around to drain your energy. I like to keep you stuck on me. So maybe this person is used to, it's like they want you to need, they want you to be clingy and needy with them. And they drain you. It's like every time this person comes around, if your energy feels different, if you're like, I'm hearing like tired or it's because they're draining you. They like that. They like that you are stuck on them. They want to make you stuck on them. Especially if you're someone, like I said, that's so quick to just let things go. They want you to be unable to let them go. I compete with you in secret. I hate that you're so beautiful, powerful, and successful. The third party could compete with you. They want to be like you, especially if you're very beautiful, powerful, successful. For some of you, I'm hearing you could have a masculine energy that tries to compete with you too if you're a feminine. 
like your lover or love interest tries to compete with you. This one says, I'm not really sorry. I'll do it again because I haven't changed. And yeah, this person tries to come around and say that, you know, they're not like that anymore. They're sorry. They don't really, they don't really mean that shit. Okay. Will you marry me? I want to start a family and grow old with you. What else, spirit? I still have this deck available on my Etsy shop if you're interested. This one says, how could you love me and then just leave me? Okay. What else for this person that Aquarius is dealing with? Walk away and put yourself first. So spirit wants you to just let this go for now, especially if it's causing you a whole bunch of confusion. Confusion if you're stuck in your head. Coming to you as a woman, the boy is mine. So... Whoever this other woman is, she wants to, like, compete with you. It's like she it's like she gets off on, like, competing with you or trying to trigger you or, I don't know. I feel like this bitch wants to fuck you, too. Like, whoever this third party is, she really wants to be you. She wants to fuck you. She wants to know why her man is so stuck on you. Like, she wants to see what that's all about. Like, this bitch is weird, okay? She might try to play friendly with you or I don't know. I'm getting a whole bunch of different messages. But yeah, she wants to like call you up like on the, the song, The Boy Is Mine. Like, like, do you know, you know, right? <laughs> you know who. Um, This one says, I want to come back. I want to fix things so I can come back together. I will love you and treat you right this time. Okay. What else? I'm so jealous of the options you have. I don't want anyone else to have you. Let's see. I'm still bitter and mad over our breakup. I want to get my revenge. I'm not used to being love property, so I sabotaged our connection out of fear. Yeah, so it's like this person has issues. They sabot It's like they knew that this was a good connection, but they sabotaged it. I don't know. On the bottom, it says, I refuse to give up on you or let you go. No one has ever loved me the way you do. Your love is so powerful and healing. So, yeah. That's very annoying, Aquarius. I can feel the energy. Let's get some sexual messages. If you're not into sexual messages or sexual language, graphic language, you can click off now because it does get very graphic, okay? Spirit, what can you tell me about Aquarius and their person? What is the sexual energy like? What is the sexual energy like, Spirit? What's the sexual energy like between Aquarius and this person? If you're celibate and you're not connecting to anyone right now, maybe this is just the energy that will come, come in or the next person you connect with. We have spread it open. What else can you tell me, Spirit? Oh, we have hiding sexual partners. We have dripping wet. And suck on it. What else can you tell me? We have heavy breathing on the bottom. What can you tell me about Chris and this person? We have sex magic. Sex dreams. Buying pussy. And say my name. We have bored with my partner. So, okay. This person is fucking multiple people. Even if they're in a relationship, they're bored with that person. They're bored with their sex. Like we saw earlier, they're not even sexually attracted to whoever the fuck they're with. Okay. They could, this could be someone that buys sex or buys, you know, or deals with sex workers, right? Um, I don't even know where to begin. It's like, I get hard just by looking at you, pounce on it. 
if you were sexually connected to this person, if you guys had sex, they love how wet you get or how wet you make them. If you're masculine, I don't know. Um, they like when you suck on it or they want you to suck on it. They feel like the sex that you guys have is very powerful, very magical, intense. You guys like connect souls and shit. It's like really deep. <laughs> Um, this person could be having sex dreams about you with say my name. It's like they want they want they want to like own that or they want you to say like it's yours, you know. They want to like fuck you so good that you are like crazy over it, you know. They also might wonder if you are fucking anyone else. Like they want they want to like put their name on that, claim that so that nobody else can get it. What else can you tell me, Spirit? What else can you tell me? What is the sexual energy like? We have boring sex life. Like I said, this person is bored with whoever they're having sex with. Especially if you cut off sex. Or some of you could be lesbians. Maybe this person wants to scissor. Um, yeah, they're like bored with whatever the fuck, whoever they're connected to, even if they're like buying pussy, it's like that pussy's boring, that pussy's all loose and shit, doesn't even get wet. Um, it's like they miss having sex with you or even just connecting with you sexually. Like, even if you guys haven't had sex, just the fact that you guys would like talk about it or maybe, I don't know. <laughs> We have God level dick and then we have pegging on the bottom. <laughs> um, there, there could be a masculine that wants you to like dominate him. He might want you to peg him. He might want you to like play with his, with his, you know, <laughs> I don't even want to say it, but yeah, he might want you to like play with it, dominate him. How much time are we in? Oh, it's about to cut off. Let me get one more. Ooh, cheating, sleeping around, awkward sex. I was going to say, it's like whoever this person is fucking or having sex with, it's like really awkward. It's boring. It's like they're sleeping around with all these people, but they're unsatisfied. The sex is boring, the sex is awkward, it's whack. We have extra sloppy. We have cheating. Someone could be like a very sloppy cheater. Like they don't even try to cover shit up. We have coming too fast. I feel like if you've had sex with this person, they came really fast. We have rough sex, tasty, morning wood, I miss the way you squirt, heavy breathing, I want to own you. I feel like with you, it's sex is very exciting, it's very like intense, they feel like you taste so good, some of you could be squirters. Maybe you squirt for this person in the past and they miss it. I feel like whenever you fuck this person or if you ever fuck this person, they're going to come really quick. I feel like this person, they wake up in the morning, this masculine, and their dick is hard for you. Especially if they have like a dream about you. This person wants to fuck you so bad, like. If this is someone that you cut off sex with, they miss fucking you. They miss having sex with you. This could be why they're just, you know, sleeping around now, not even connecting with people, not even enjoying it. Let me see what else. We have doggy style. Masturbating to the thought of you. We have robbing and swollen i feel like i'm getting a visualization of a, ma a masculine energy and his dick is like so hard for you even just thinking about you just masturbating to the thought of you i'm hearing like he comes like <laughs> 
it's like he would rather masturbate to the thought of you than like fuck someone else like it's it's more pleasurable when he masturbates to the thought of you than it is when he's fucking someone else it's like maybe he he or she experienced you know a connection with you that's very deep so now that he tries to he or she tries to have sex with other people it's just it feels empty because that deep connection is not there anymore or it's not there with other people we have let's make a video tantric sex celibate some of you are keeping that that coochie to yourself or that dick to yourself you're waiting for the right person they feel like you smell so good they want to finger you they want to tear your clothes off and we have some dirty dick here unable to get hard so it's like i'm getting this masculine could be like their dick could be like worn out like they have worn that dick out like fucking any and everybody they like hooking up with people and then never talking to them again but their desires for you are very strong i'm getting this person likes fingering you and smelling it because you smell really good <sighs> all right aquarius that was your reading please like the video leave me a comment subscribe if you're new to my channel also check out the personal readings that i'm offering it will be pinned in the comment down below I love you so much. Also, I have an, a wish list. If any of you are interested, that's that would be commented in or dropped in the description if any of you are feeling generous. Um, but yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a blessed rest of your week. I love you. Bye.